Is it actually important to wash my fruits and vegetables post-transplant? The answer may surprise you, so stay tuned. Well, hey folks, I appreciate you once again joining me on the Transplant Helper Podcast slash YouTube video series. My name is Jim Merle. Today we're going to be answering kind of a viewer's question once again, and that's basically, is it important to wash my fruits and vegetables post-transplant? Now, as I said just a moment ago, the answer may actually surprise you, and that is because more times than not, the answer is certainly Yes. Now, most likely when you were a child and you went and grabbed an apple off the counter or out of the refrigerator or whatever, your mother probably stopped you and said, hey, be sure to wash that off before you eat it. And you didn't think very much about that. As a matter of fact, as you were a child getting your hands into anything and everything, it probably really didn't matter. But more and more today as we're getting our fruits and vegetables out of foreign countries, out of different areas, uh, places where we're really not sure how they've been transported to us, it gets more important to wash our fruits and vegetables, especially if you're a post-transplant patient of any kind. Now, you may say right quick, well, Jim, I've not heard anything about that. I've not been told to wash my fruits and vegetables, so I don't know where you're coming from with that. Well, most likely either you haven't heard it or you've forgotten it. That's because when you were told about this, it would probably took place during those pre-transplant classes when you were dozing off, falling asleep, staring off into the sky, not paying any attention. That's most likely when they told you about this about washing fruits and vegetables. So I just wanted to pause today in light of this viewer's question and reaffirm that yes, you need to wash your fruits and vegetables, but you probably need to go a step farther than you did as a child. And that is rather than just taking that apple, that orange, that banana, uh, those tomatoes, whatever it is, and just running it under a little bit of water in the kitchen sink, you probably need to go a step farther than that. And here's the basic suggestion. You may have been told in and around transplant time, and that is that you needed to make a mixture together of one part vinegar and two parts water. That's one part vinegar and two parts water, and that's what you needed to wash your vegetables in. Now, there's several different ways of doing that, one more convenient than the other, but the most practical way when you first or initially get maybe say like this, like that whole bag of apples, probably the most practical way to do that is as soon as you get home from the grocery store and you're putting things away, just grab yourself some sort of a bowl like this, fill it up with one part uh, vinegar, two parts water, Take your apples, your oranges, whatever it is, dip them in the bowl, let them set for just a few seconds or so. It doesn't take long. Maybe brush them off if you notice any noticeable uh, residue or dirt. Pull them out, rinse them under some clear, cold water, and hey, you're ready to eat. Now, that's one of the easiest ways to do that as far as getting things ready uh, for when you do like I do and you make that midnight run to the refrigerator, reach and grab that apple, and you just want to eat. However, probably one of the most practical ways other than that and better ways of going about things is to actually take yourself and find yourself one of these little spray bottles. Now, these things cost less than a dollar or so, depending on the size that you want. Find yourself a spray bottle most likely and needfully one that's never been used. Don't grab the old Windex bottle or the Armor All bottle, but grab yourself an old spray bottle. Take that same mixture of one part vinegar and two parts water Put it in the bottle and just keep it on hand. Maybe keep it beside your kitchen sink or beside your refrigerator, wherever you're keeping that fruit. And then that way, when you reach for that piece of fruit a little bit later and you want to eat it, oh, it looks so good, you just take and give it a couple of squirts. And there you are. Now you're ready to eat. Hmm, that's pretty good. Anyway. My name is Jim Merle. I'm the Transplant Helper. I hope this has helped you in some way. If it has, how about go ahead and like, subscribe to this channel. And hey, go ahead and hit the bell notification right there to sign. That way, every week when I come out with content, which will hopefully advocate, educate, and motivate you as a transplant patient, you'll be notified and we can begin to build this community together. Now, what do you do about washing your fruits and vegetables? Or did you even know that that was a thing? How about commenting below the video and let me know about that. I'd love to hear from you. And until next time, stay stronger, friends.